In cybersecurity, a honeypot is a decoy system designed to attract, detect, and analyze cyber attacks. It mimics a real system, luring attackers away from actual targets, allowing security teams to gather intelligence on their methods and motivations without risking real infrastructure. Cowrie is a popular median interaction honeypot specifically designed to emulate SSH and telnet services. It logs brute force attacks and detailed shell interactions, capturing commands, uploaded files, and attacker behavior, providing valuable insights into emerging threats and attack techniques. Let's check it out. All right, let's go ahead and log into Cisco Modeling Labs here, and I have my SSH Honeypot Lab ready to go. So you can see I'm logged into the Honeypot server here. And let's go ahead and clone the GitHub repository for Calry. You can use the git clone command there, followed by the URL for the repository on GitHub. Let's go ahead now and create our Python virtual environment that will go ahead and run this Calry honeypot. And then let's go ahead and activate that virtual environment as well. Next, we need to install some necessary Python packages and go ahead and use the requirements.txt file to install all of the third-party dependencies that are needed to run the Cowie Honeypot. All right, almost there. Next, we just need to copy over the config file. Uh, it's got a kind of temporary one that it uses to start off with. We're just gonna copy that to almost the same name, just removing the dist at the end of it. So it's .cfg. So one thing we need to do is modify the IP tables firewall rule to allow for a port redirect from port 22 to port 2222, that way Calry can capture any incoming traffic. So we'll go ahead and modify the IP tables rule there and save it. All right, now we have everything set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and run Calry. You can do this very simply just by calling bin slash Calry and start, and that'll go ahead and start the honeypot. So now that it's running, let's go ahead and tail the log file of it so we can see any SSH attempts that go to this honeypot. All right, we got our log file up here. Now let's go ahead and switch to the client host and let's see if we can SSH and what happens when we try to SSH over to that honeypot. And I'm just gonna enter in some dummy passwords here. These are not gonna work. And if we jump back over to the honeypot, you'll see that we have the uh, failed attempts captured there. Just to give you an example of one right there, that failed login attempt, login attempt failed with the username and password that were attempted on that particular attempt. So it's fairly easy to set up an SSH honeypot here. Uh, you can learn more about this on u.cisco.com. We have a free tutorial there on setting up an SSH honeypot. So check it out and see y'all again soon.